Merging two defenses into one is coming with Town Hall 16. I will show you gameplay and explain everything you need to know about these new defenses within this video. Yesterday, we revealed Town Hall 16 with its nature theme alongside many other things, including a new barracks level and pet house level. But you will have to wait for future sneak peeks to see what is inside of those. I would recommend subscribing as we do only have a small percentage percentage of viewers subscribe to the channel, you'll get to see those new things as soon as we are allowed to bring it. For the defenses, bit of a giveaway, we will have the cannons and then the archer towers that you can fuse together. Not combining them, but when you go into the shop at Town Hall 16, you will see the multi archer tower and the ricochet cannon. You can actually build two of each of these. They both cost 20 million gold with 14 days in order to upgrade. That is not including any discounts from the gold pass. It is important to know that once you merge your defenses, you cannot unmerge them, but you would not want to. There is one little drawback, which I'll talk about once we've gone over the mechanics and we get to defense strategy. Another important note is that your current archer tower and cannon levels need to be maximum level level for Town Hall 15, so that is level 21 of both of them. If you do not have level 21 cannon or archer towers, you are unable to fuse your defenses. This means that the geared up cannon, the double cannon, cannot be fused, and neither can the geared up archer tower, the short range archer tower. However, once you do have two of the defenses at that maximum level, you can then build the ricochet cannon, and essentially it will use the closest two maximum level cannons. Obviously, you can then rearrange this around the base however you wish. Doesn't really matter, it's just for this initial fusion. But since I only have the two at maximum level, I can press the OK button and the cannons will fuse across to the ricochet cannon. It is also important to note, as you can see, that you do lose the two cannons immediately, but you don't gain the ricochet cannon until the build time is complete. So that is 14 days that you are two defenses down unless you use gems or a book of building to finish that. Let me rearrange this base to make things a bit clearer for you. The exact same process happens for the multi archer tower. Tower. Obviously, the mechanics of this defense is a little bit different. I'm going to break down the gameplay and strategy. Fusing the two archer towers is exactly the same as when you fuse the two cannons. It cannot be undone. Even once you start the merging process, you can't cancel this upgrade. So I will be using my books to get those upgraded. Let's quickly fuse the other defenses as well. I do think it's kind of cool that they just fly right across the map. Notice it will not fuse the non-maxed level arch tower. Instead, it will literally pull the other one from the side of the base. Let's walk you through all of the stats, mechanics, and strategy for the ricochet cannon, and then we'll do the same for the multi archer tower. Upgrading the ricochet cannon to level two will cost you 22 million gold with 15 days and 12 hours to upgrade. This obviously gives you an extra 300 hit hit points and 30 damage per second. Comparing that to the levels of cannon you had to merge together, the hit points and damage per second are more than double, even stat wise, it makes sense to fuse them together. However, the specialty of the ricochet cannon is in the name. It will ricochet through targets. So not only does it deal more than twice the damage, it actually does that to two targets. And this damage is persistent. The ricochet damage is the same as the initial hit. Interesting that your hero pet is now going to be vulnerable to the ricochet cannon, particularly with a queen charge. If you do utilize the unicorn for a bit extra healing, it will go down pretty quick to the ricochet cannon. Also, you will have to take this defense into account since it does more damage on to your queen alongside all of the other defenses you will probably have to keep a closer eye on her to try and preserve the ability but how far does it ricochet it doesn't tell us in the stats so i tried my best to figure it out for you in this first scenario you can see that it does not move across to the barbarian so you're not going to have to worry about it ricocheting across to your flame flinger when you're tanking a defense i kept trying in order to push the distance as far as possible and you can see when the barbarian is on the far side of the gold storage
damage, it doesn't ricochet to it. I tried to test this in a straight line just to see if it was any different, but again, it appeared to be around about four tiles before it ricocheted. And whilst the ricochet cannon looks huge compared to the regular cannons, I don't think it's going to overtake the major defenses of the base. Having said that, the damage per second of the ricochet cannon is 390. Comparing that to the expo, it is only 225. So in isolation, the ricochet cannon is stronger, but obviously in a realistic base, you'd have multiple other buildings your troops have to get through whilst the expo is firing at them the entire time. When scouting a base, I still feel like the Inferno Towers, Monolith, Scattershot, Eagle Artillery, those are the defenses we will be looking for. But as we found out yesterday, none of those have a new level yet for Town Hall 16. What about the Ricochet Cannon versus two unmerged cannons at that maximum level? Well, clearly it does twice the damage as the stats show, but it also ricochets through two of the giants. So it's going to be able to take them down more than twice as quick. Ricochet cannon is already done and the two normal cannons actually go down to the giants, require the ricochet cannon to then help finish it off. And aesthetically, I think this one looks the best. One downside of the ricochet cannon, if there is only a singular troop, it's not like it deals double damage. So you're missing out on half of the DPS. And you might be asking, well, why would it? But that is the case with the multi archer tower. If you notice on top of the tower, there is now three archers. Taking a look at the level 21 archer tower that you fused, it has 1800 hit points and 145 damage per second. Once to upgrade your multi archer tower to the maximum of level two, you will have 5,200 hit points, so more than double, but only 120 damage per second. However, number of targets, three, and it gets even better. Not the upgrade, it will cost you 22 million gold and 15 days, 12 hours to upgrade, but it will triple the damage if there is only one target. So you don't have to worry about missing out on DPS like you do with the ricochet cannon. The archer tower will automatically adjust. If there are three targets, it will target at all three of them. If only one is in range, it will triple fire at them and then split across to the others once it has three targets within its radius. What about if there's only two targets? Well, it still keeps that triple damage, just that it fires one arrow at one of the targets and two arrows at another. So you could think of this as 120 DPS times three. I did notice that when it splits the arrows and fires two at a certain target, it will stay locked onto that target if they are a set distance apart. Once the troops are close together, it tends to alternate between different troops. You're still getting the same triple arrow output, but it just varies where they fire. Here's your side by side of the two archer towers you would have fused together and that new triple output multi archer tower. The mechanics being relatively simple to understand, but they bring a new dynamic to Clash of Clans. There is that one little disadvantage I'm going to mention, but in general, you should absolutely be fusing these together. The new level 11 P.E.K.K.A. on the left with the multi archer tower goes down first, and that new archer tower even has to help reinforce the regular archer tower. There's no question about it. Once it comes to your defensive capabilities, you want to be fusing these defenses together because they have so much more output. I do think where they will be extremely strong is versus a queen charge. Not that you can't counteract this. It's just that you have to be wary of one of these fused defenses coming up. Obviously, you can lose the unicorn from the ricochet damage of the cannon, but it also has that greater output than a regular cannon, and it might mean that you need to use a rage spell earlier because your queen is taking so much more damage. Not to mention, once you get towards one of the multi-arch towers, it deals that triple damage. The main downside of these is that pro base builders use defenses such as the cannons, archer towers, mortars to drive defensive style troops to the outside of the base, therefore protecting the greater defenses such as the scatter shots, inferno towers, eagle, you do not want a Lalo pathing direct to that. 
So by losing one of your defenses, even though this new one is a lot stronger, it can provide a disadvantage of not being able to force defensive troops around the core of the base. Obviously, you can let me know what you think of that. Our teaser for tomorrow's sneak peek reads, there's something mysterious that's been darting in and out of the forest near the border of your village. Tomorrow, we'll reveal just who that shy little critter is. Be sure to be subscribed to see that. If you want to see yesterday's video where we revealed the new troop and defense levels, I have it linked on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.